Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a PlayStation 1 emulator working from the App Store on an iPhone. So this is without any jailbreak, without Alt Store, this is going to be using an official App Store app. And this is a PlayStation 1 emulator, which actually works pretty well on an iPhone. We can run this in portrait mode, we can run this in landscape mode as well with a virtual display. And this runs pretty well on an iPhone, and it's basically the very first PlayStation 1 emulator that's available on this particular platform. And no jailbreak is required. It's going to be very straightforward and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap on our App Store icon. So click on the App Store. Then I'm going to do a search for Gamma Emulator. So you can find this here and it's going to be this one here. So I'll also leave a link to this in the description, but you can get to it by searching for Gamma Game Emulator. And then I'm going to go ahead and download this. So we tap on Get. And then here we're going to do is to double click to install. So now that's downloading. So just give that a moment to complete. And then basically we're ready to open now. So press the open button and then we're going to open up the emulator. So here we're going to agree to the terms and conditions, press continue. Then we need to go ahead and add some games. So I can't exactly show you where to get these games from. You can add them here with the plus icon. So for legal reasons, I can't show you where to get PS1 games from. Technically, you should be ripping them from your own legally bought PlayStation 1 games. They should come in the form of a PlayStation 1 ISO or .bin.q file. Often they come as compressed .7z files. So this download is now complete. And this particular file this is .7z. So what we're going to do is open up the Tekken file here. And with iOS 17, I'm going to preview content. And that's basically going to extract all these files. So this takes a few seconds to actually be able to open. So just wait for that to finish. Might take about 30 seconds or so. Depends on how big the archive is. So now you can see the various files which are in this uh, archive. So what we're going to do is to press this arrow out archive to actually get this uh, file out. And then we want to press this button here, save to files. It's going to put this on my iPhone. And then we want to do it with all of the files within this archive. Then what we're going to do is go back into the Gamma emulator then press the plus button and then click on files on device. Then we're going to go ahead and select on my phone. We're going to find the Tekken 3 bin that I found earlier. Open. And then we can open up Tekken. So you can see here, this is the original Tekken 3 being opened up here. I'm just going to press the start menu and we can actually see the game in action. So if you wanted to, we're going to go ahead and turn off the portrait lock. Let's run this in landscape mode. So we've got this virtual keypad here. So all the controls are working here correctly. Plays at a nice 60 frames per second, or at least it feels like it. Here we're just going to look at the menu here. Here we're just going to go back to portrait mode. Let's look at the menu. We can also save states here and load states. Let's save the state here. So if we also look in the options as well, there's plenty of options here with regards to vibrations. We can sync to Google Drive and Dropbox for save states and save games. We have the ability to add controllers as well. We have different controller skins that we can download and adjust here. So we can tweak some of these if we want to. And if we want to play the game again, we can always go ahead and resume the safe state that we had earlier. And this is all working. So anyway, that's how you get Tekken 3 and other PlayStation 1 games working on an iPhone. No jailbreak or alt store is required. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.